okay, okay, this can't be right. This has to be a mistake. Maybe I'm reading this wrong. Maybe. Good morning, Richard. I've prepared the quarterly financial summary you requested. I think you'll find Jared, it quite- Jared, please tell me you made an error. Please tell me that our cloud bill for last month wasn't actually $2.3 million. Oh, oh my, that's, that's actually correct. I triple checked because I thought it was a typo too. The good news is that our engagement metrics The good are... news? Jared, at this rate, will be bankrupt in six weeks. Six weeks. Do you understand what that means? That we'll need to update our LinkedIn profiles? We're burning through money faster than a cryptocurrency mining farm in a volcano. How did this happen? How did we not see this coming? Why is Richard having what appears to be a financial panic attack? Probably because he just discovered that his revolutionary compression algorithm requires the computational power of a small country to run at scale. Don't! Don't be sarcastic right now. This is serious. We're spending $2.3 million a month on cloud infrastructure. That's impossible. Our platform isn't that. Holy shit. That is moderately concerning. Moderately concerning? Guilfoyle, we are hemorrhaging money. At this rate, I'll have to move back in with my parents. Do you know what that means? Perhaps we could implement some cost optimization strategies. I've read about companies reducing expenses through... Okay, let me look at our Kubernetes clusters. Maybe there's some redundancy we can. Wait, Richard, how many pods do we have running? I don't know, like a few hundred? Try 7,000. And they're all severely over-provisioned. This pod is requesting 16 cores and 64 gigs of RAM to run what appears to be a Hello World application. How is that possible? I specifically configured everything to be lean and efficient. Well, when we scaled up for the TechCrunch feature, you did say, and I quote, just throw more resources at it until it works. That was supposed to be temporary. Apparently temporary in Kubernetes time means forever until the heat death of the universe. We're fucked. We're completely fucked. Monica's going to kill me. Lori's going to kill me. My investors are going to kill me and then sue my corpse. You know, there's a solution to this problem, but it requires something you're not very good at. What's that? Not panicking like a caffeinated chihuahua and actually thinking. Okay, you're right. We can fix this. We just need to optimize our resource allocation, implement auto-scaling, maybe move some workloads to spot instances. I have optimized everything I can optimize. I have auto-scaled the auto-scalers. I have right-sized the right-sizers. We are still burning cash like we are the Pentagon. I've reached out to our cloud account manager, but they just keep suggesting we upgrade to their premium support package. This is impossible. There has to be something we're missing, some magical solution that... Actually, there might be. What? What is it? Well, while you've all been running around like headless chickens, I decided to do something revolutionary. I googled reduce Kubernetes costs. Oh wow, Guilfoyle googled something. Alert the Nobel Committee. And I found this company called DevZero. They specialize in eliminating over-provisioning in Kubernetes clusters. Over-provisioning? That's exactly our problem. What do they do? It's a platform that analyzes your costs by cluster, node, workload, and department. Then it suggests manual changes to your Helm charts or creates automated policies for right-sizing and live migration. You can just sign up and start using it. Now that sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? The catch is that you have to admit that your Kubernetes configuration was about as optimized as a Windows Vista installation. I don't care. If it saves us money, I'll admit that my code is garbage. I'll admit that I don't know what I'm doing. I'll admit that my compression algorithm is just copying existing libraries and hoping for the best. Richard, maybe we shouldn't admit to that last one in public. Can you sign us up? Can you do it right now? I'm already doing it. Wait, you're just signing us up for random software without telling us? I figured that by the time I explained it to you people, Richard would have already died of stress-induced cardiac arrest, and I'd have to deal with Jared crying over his body. That's actually quite thoughtful of you, Guilfoyle. Don't make it weird, Jared. Connecting our clusters now, and done. It's already analyzing our costs. Says it'll have recommendations in about three minutes. Well, according to this, we're over-provisioning by approximately 847%. 847%? How is that even mathematically possible? Apparently, you've been allocating resources like you're planning to host the entire internet on our servers. But the good news is, DevZero can automatically right-size everything and create policies to prevent this from happening again. So we're not fucked? We're still fucked, but now we're fucked with properly optimized Kubernetes clusters that won't bankrupt us. Shit. Monica's calling. Are you going to tell her about the cloud costs? Hey, Monica. Everything's great. Just optimizing some infrastructure stuff. 20 bucks says he tells her everything within 30 seconds. Deal. Deal.
Monica, we're spending $2.3 million a month on cloud. Pay up.